just kind of mentioned what happened. Ready? Welcome, everybody, to Brockton High Baseball. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action right down here on the beautiful campus of Brockton High. We've got the New Bedford Whalers going up against the Lady Boxers, and we just started the first hitter that we missed, uh, a ground out to the um, first base, excuse me, to the pitcher, and she threw it over to the first base. So we got one out. Second batter is up right now. Uh, Bertocci. And she is uh, number six up there, batting in the number two position. And a little bit high outside. Pitching for uh, Brockton. Let's see, this is uh, a Chenard. And a fly out to center field, number four. Took that down, and pardon the pronunciation, Cartagena in center field. And we've got two out, and up the bat is the third batter. Pitches a strike, a foul tip. And that looks like uh, number it's number eight, Worsing. Worsing up at the plate for the Whalers. I believe she's got an 0-1 count. Ooh, nice pitch in there, right in there for strike two. So 0-2. Right at the start here with two outs, nobody on. Top of the first. And there's a high fly. And the center fielder has it, and she takes it for the third out in the end of, the end of that first inning. And Brockton gets them one, two, three, and they'll be up to bat. Okay, welcome back, everybody, to Brockton High Lady Softball. I'm Miles Jackson right here. Beautiful spot here. Center field. Brockton going up against New Bedford. I apologize if I started out New Bedford's uh, starting lineup. Might have had them mixed up with Brockton, but for Brockton, we've got Picaro, Pachochi, and Worsing, the one, two, three hitters, and the Grace at cleanup. Brockton is in their dark jerseys and dark pants. New Bedford in their white jerseys and red pants. Right now it's nothing, nothing. Top of the first, excuse me, bottom of the first inning. Beautiful, sunshiny day here. And we're just glad to be out here giving you some of the ladies' softball action here at Brockton High. And it looks like there's a question. So both coaches are out there to discuss whatever the uh, issue is. This is a conference game, so a very important game for um, both teams. We apologize, we don't have their records either New Bedford's or Brockton. But I'm sure we're gonna have an entertaining ball game here for you. And the leadoff hitter is Picaro. And she makes contact, high fly just out of um, out of play, but caught by the first baseman, I believe. Yes, it was number 21 for New Bedford. That's Hudson.
Yeah, next bat is a ball. That's Bertocci at the plate. Low fastball and swings and misses. She makes contact, but foul off her, it's like her foot. I'll tell you the picture for New Bedford, she's got a nice wind up. And she throws it in there high. Pitch. Ooh, right at the pitcher. And that's two outs. Nice reaction by the pitcher there. Robell's that, that's pitching for uh, New Bedford. Outside, ball one. Up at the plate is worse song. Worse thing, excuse me. And she makes contact out there in right field. I mean, excuse me, left field. And caught nicely, and that will end the inning. Good contact, but it was right at the left fielder. So a 1 2 3 inning, just like uh, New Bedford went down. 1 2 3, nothing, nothing. We're at the bottom of the first. Okay, welcome back to Brockton High Boxer Softball. We've got the top of the second inning, nothing, nothing score. And up for New Bedford is the number four hitter, Lily Gunnett. Swings and misses, strike one. Nice contact, gonna get over the center fielder's head. And Lily gets to second base on a double. Nice contact. The center fielder did not have time to react to get back because it was solid contact right over her head. And uh, Bedford Wheelers has a man on on second, no outs. And they got Hudson. Huston, number 21 from Bedford. Low ball one. Ooh, good strike right down the middle. The plate a single. And now the center field a held a runner to at third. So we've got and actually a double, it ended up being a double, so two men on, second and third. Nobody out. And we've got Green up at the plate. Pitch, a little bit outside, fool the batter, strike one. Two men on, nobody out. Makes contact, but it's gonna be taken nicely by the shortstop. Runners hold, one out. One out, and we've got Mitchell coming up to the plate. Nice pitch right over the plate, strike one. Foul off behind the backstop. And they're 
foul of ball, so ball four. Bases are loaded for the New Bedford Whalers. And up for New Bedford now is Kaplan with the bases loaded. Low ball one. Brockton's got themselves in a jam here in the top of the second. Strike. One out. Ooh, ball. A little bit high and outside. Nice pitch to the pitcher over the first base. And actually, that's there were two outs. So pardon me, two outs. And nobody scores. Four at uh, first base and kills the rally. So a great job by the Lady Boxes for getting out of that jam. And we'll come to the bottom of the second. Oh, no, they did. Uh, New Bedford Whalers did score one run. So, they did get one run, but uh, Brockton did a nice job getting out of there. It could have been a lot worse. So, the Lady Boxers will come up to bat here in the bottom of the second. Are you sure this game? I think they did. Yeah, because the force would have been out at first, and this is what they got. I don't think they scored. Okay, so I've been corrected. I don't, okay, so maybe they didn't score. I already stopped it, so we're, we're still good. Okay. Let's start whenever you, yeah, Okay. Start, pretend you never even said it. But, but nobody scored. Nobody scored. Okay. Not to my knowledge. Okay. I mean, if this is loaded, they got the out at first. They got the out at first. I didn't realize it was two outs. outs. Yeah, I didn't need it. <laughs> I want to give you the two. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got to start keeping the outs here. First time. Yeah. First yeah. And then by yourself, so. It's yeah. Tough. And by yourself, exactly. Yeah. Right, here okay, here we go. Bottom of the second inning. No no score. Brockton got, got themselves out of a pickle in the top of the second there. And we've got number four at the plate. Power, I believe. Low ball. Chenard with the pitch foul off. And with foul off. And pardon me, but that number 42 for Ron Bedford. The Grace. The Grace is up there. Fouls off another pitch. That's two strikes. Chennai pitching for the Whalers. Ooh, fastball, but she hangs in there and fouls it off. Two strikes. Two strikes for the Grace. Yeah, 
Here's the pitch. Wow. Low fastball, good for a strike, just below the knees. And we've got a strikeout for the Whalers. So up is Madison. Up next for the box, Lady Boxers. One out. Fouled off. Strike one. Pitch. Foul off again. Strike two. Box is having a tough time getting some good solid contact against the Whaler pitcher. Here's a pitch low for a ball. Wind up, finally makes some contact. It might fall in there, but nice play by the right fielder there. Uh, DeGrace. And that's, that's uh, two outs. And up next. Let's see who this is. Ooh, fastball in there, strike one. Ball. One ball, one strike to the hitter. A little blooper, that's going to be an easy out. So that's three outs for Brockton Boxers. So still no score at the, at the end of the second inning. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, to Brockton High Softball. Here at Brockton High, it's top of the third inning. And I believe that's a ball. Worsing is pitching for Brockton. Worsing. I believe that was a ball. Oh, strike, excuse me. Had my head down for a second there, so. Ooh, contact made. Like the right fielder has it, and she makes a basket catch. Running in on the play. Nice play there by our right fielder. Number 44, Burnham. So we got one out. And that's a foul ball. And that is number four. You got the top of the order up at the plate. Top to Jenna. Ball. Foul off again. One ball, two strikes. And the pitcher gets the softball back to her. Grounded right to the pitcher, and we've got one out, excuse me, two outs. 
Nice play there by the pitcher, Wonsing. Gets over there to first base for the easy out. And we've got Shanad up at the plate for the Lady Whalers. First pitch made contact to center field. She calls it, and actually it's the shortstop got over there quickly and called it. And that ends the top of the third inning. No runs, no hits, still no score. Okay, welcome back everybody. We hit starting the bottom of the third inning. Lady Boxers are up. It's a piece of it. Oh, what a play over there by the first baseman. Nice grab there. And that's one out. Tough break there for the batter. That's green up at the plate for Brockton. Ball two. So two balls, no strikes. And that's a strike. Again, that's green at the plate for the Lady Boxes. High, ball three. One out here in the bottom of the third inning. Wow, fooled her right there because that was high. A little bit high to the outside. Good pitch by the Lady Boxes there, Chenard. So that's two outs. Two outs for the Boxes. So far, Whaler's done a good job of keeping the Lady Boxers off the base path. Ooh, nice pitch. That's a strike right there. And it's fouled off. So the batter is still alive. Here's the pitch high. And that's a ball. High again. Full count three and two. Pitch, ooh, tagged it out there, nice pitch. That's gonna fall in for a single. And nice job there by number three. Brito, Britochi, pardon the uh, mispronunciation, but a nice hit there by the pitcher for Brockton. So we got two outs, one man on first. And we've got Hoyt up at the plate. Makes contact, but it's popped up in the field, and it's an out. 
So that's three. So the Whalers get out of that inning. Brockton with no runs, one hit. And we'll go to the top of the fourth. Welcome back. We're at the top of the fourth inning. New Bedford with no runs. The Lady Boxers with no runs. First batter for New Bedford is up at the plate. Ball. Ooh, nice pitch there. Strike right over the plate. Nice fastball. Here's the pitch. Contact made. First baseman's over there. And that's an out. So one out. For the Lady Wheelers. I believe this is number seven, Gunnett, for the Lady Wheelers. First pitch right by a strike one. Contact made, but it's going to be fouled out of play. No balls, two strikes. And just fouled off. Foul tip. So that'll keep her up there. Strike three. Nice fastball by Wernsing. Lady Boxer's picture. It's two outs. Low, ball one. And it's fouled off. Makes it one and one. One ball, one strike. Contact right in the gap. Center fielder gets it, guns it into second base. Here's the play, and safe. Nice play by the center fielder to get it, get to the gap area, get the ball up and gun it into second base as the runner just made it in. That was Picaro, the center fielder for the Lady Boxers. Contact right to the first baseman, steps on the bag, and that's the third out. So the boxes get out of there unscathed. That was the top end of the top of the fourth. Still no score. Okay, welcome back to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still no score. Pachochi's up at the plate for Brockton. Lady Box is hoping to get something started this inning. Get a little rally. And New Bedford has a new picture. Number 22, Lily Gray. Strike one. Low by the knees. So Gray, strike two, New Bedford, puts in Lily Gray, number 22 of New Bedford. New pitcher to start off the bottom of the fourth inning here. 
Nice job by Chenard, the starting pitcher. No hits, excuse me, no runs. I think she gave up one hit. Fouls it off, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Low. I believe that's going to be a 3 2 count. Here's the pitch. Oh, lined out there to left field. Nice roped single for the Lady Boxer batter. So that was Pachochi, and she will. They will put in a pinch runner. Nice job getting that ball out there into left field for a single. Fox has got something going here with no outs. Here in the bottom of the fourth. Okay, we got a lefty in the batter's box. First pitch, nothing but heat, strike one. Fouled off, so it'll be 0-2. And number five is on first base for the Lady Boxes. High. Ball one. Strike three. So that's one out. As Gray threw a little bit of heat, fooled the batter. So we got number 42. High ball one. Fouled off. Strike one. Excuse me, I believe strike two. Here's the pitch. Low. That's a ball. Catcher gets it over there to the first base. Runner is safe. with two strikes and oh she had one strike that's a strike so two strikes two balls here's the pitch oh fooled her high heat and she strikes out that's two outs
That's Madison up there at the plate, number two. Pitch is low, ball one. Ooh, a little bit of high heat, strike one. One man on. Two outs. Here's the pitch. Ooh. Strike two. One and two. Here's the pitch. Outside. Ball two. Two and two. Runner on first base. Two outs. And just threw it right by. A strike three. So Gray gets out of that inning after a leadoff hit. Produced nothing, so still no score after four. You bet for nothing, box is nothing. Okay, here we go. Top of the fifth, no score. Lauren Mitchell up at the plate for New Bedford. So oh, stings a single right down the middle to center field. Ball is thrown over there, and first baseman could not misplay it. So the runner goes to second on an error. That was, again, that was Mitchell with the uh, leadoff single. And New Bedford has something going here early in the top of the fifth with a man on second. No outs. So that's Kaplan, Ava Kaplan, up at the plate. Looks to bunt, gets it down. Gets it over there to first. But she does advance to run into the third base. So she did her job, Kaplan. So we got one out. Man on third. New Bedford's threatening here. Top of the fifth. First pitch is outside, ball one. Strike two, strike one, excuse me, one and one. Looked like she was trying to bunt. I believe it caught a little bit of the bat. Catcher was able to control it. The pitch, high and outside, ball two. Low, ball three, three and one. Warren Sings put herself in a pickle here. Three and one, man on third, one out. The pitch, good pitch there, strike. So we got a full count, three and two count. Warren Singh battling it out here. Right up the middle. Over to first, and that's an out. But a run scores, two outs. But the batter did her job, got the uh, runner home. So New Bedford has scored the first run of this ball game. Ball one.
inside, but a strike. Nice pitch there by Runsing. Ooh, tagged hard. And nice play by the center fielder. She calls off the left fielder and ran it down. Great play there by number four for uh, Brockton. That was Picaro. And Brockton gets out of that with just one run allowed. So New Bedford breaks the ice. Top of the fifth, one nothing. First pitch, strike one on Madison. Bottom of the fifth inning, no outs for Brockton. And she tags a nice little single right over the third baseman's head. It's kind of chopped at it, but it worked. So Madison gets on, lead off hitter. And next we have Burnham, number 44 for the Lady Boxers. Strike one. Gray still out there pitching for the Lady Whalers. Fouled off. Strike two. Bray with the pitch. Ooh. Outside fastball. Strike three. So one out. One man on. Up is green for the lady boxes. First pitch strike. Low just on the outside of the plate. Low. Runner thinks about it, but doesn't, so it'll be one and one. Ball then get behind the catcher far enough for the first baseman to feel comfortable going to second, so she stays at first. Whoa, high and heat. Ball two strikes. Strike three. That's two outs. As Gray throws throws down heat. And the next batter is the pitcher for Brockton. Bachochi. Low ball one. Oof. Foul tipped. I believe it was off the catcher. So one and one. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. One man on, still on first. She's been there since the top of the uh, order. Here's the pitch. Ooh, right down the pike. Strike two. Five, four, four, five, four, four. 
And strike three. Gray locked in. And punches out the third out. So New Bedford still up by one. One to nothing going into the top of the sixth. Okay, here we go. Top of the sixth inning. New Bedford with a one-nothing lead. And I believe that's number five. Chenard starting off this inning for the Lady Whalers. There's a pitch. And oh, nice snag by the and gets him out. Nice play by the shortstop there, number two for uh, the Lady Boxes. Looks like number two there. Yeah. Oh, Madison. Yes. Nice play by Madison to, to snag that. I thought that was a base hit. But she prevented it and made a great throw besides making the great snag. Right by her, ball one. Excuse me, strike one. Strike two. Pitch high. That's a ball. And she punches a single in there just past the reach of the shortstop. And nice play there. So one out, man on first for the Lady Whalers. And that's solid contact. That's gonna fall in for a base hit. Gunned over there to second base and a little blooper over there to right field by the foul line and drops in for a single. That was uh, Chenard with the little blue pit. One out with two men on. Whalers threatening here in the top of the sixth. High fly. Center field's up. Actually, shortstop. And that'll be two outs. From our vantage point, it looked like it was coming out to here to the outfield, but. Stay right there in the infield, deep in the infield for easy out. So two out, two on for the Lady Whalers. And this is Jenna, number six, from New Bedford, Noguera. Sing. Lady Boxer's pitcher is hanging in there. Here's a pitch. Ooh, nice pitch there. It's a strike. And contact is made. Second baseman. And they can't get another blooper. Run scores. Runner going to third. And the Lady Whalers get another run on a bloop single. Oh, again, to right field. Just in between the second baseman and right fielder. So two runners at the corner with uh, two outs, I believe. Oh, snag nicely, but it's a little pop-up going to the shortstop. 
And that'll kill that. But one, the damage is done. One run has scored. Now two to nothing. Lady Whale is going into the bottom of the sixth. Okay, here we go. Bottom of the sixth inning. Lady Boxers need to get something going here. I believe that's the leadoff hit of Picaro. High. She, she swung anyway. Fastball. Strike one. So far, Gray has been extremely steady out there in the reliever position. High pop-up. And it'll be out of play. Coming in, I believe, in about the fourth inning for New Bedford. And has really done a great job. Ooh. Strike two. Yeah, Gray can throw some heat. New Bedford up again, 2 nothing here in the bottom of the sixth. Outside. Card being very selective. Fouled it off. Kept her eye on the ball. Here's the pitch. High. Two and two. Ooh, S smoke right by her. Gonna strike three. So one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Makai did a nice job hanging in there, just couldn't quite get that bat on the ball solidly. Seven strikeouts for the young lady. And that's a strike. And Pachochi up at the plate. Ball one. High. Ball two. Two and one. High, three and one. Pachochi trying to get something going here with a three one count. Strike. That was a beautiful pitch. Very tempting for the batter. She froze, so that's a 3-2 count for the Lady Boxes. And nothing but heat fools her. And Gray gets her eighth strikeout. And that is two outs for the Boxes. And Wernsing up at the plate. That one gets away from Gray, ball one. Fouled 
draw, one and one. And they're going to call that a strike. Two strikes. One ball. That was a nice pitch. Just, just high enough to be called a strike. Here's a pitch. Fouled off. One ball, two strikes on the batter. The pitch. Swung on, missed. And they get the runner. Nice play by the catcher. So that's three outs. No runs for the Lady Boxers. So we go to the top of the seventh with New Bedford Whalers leading 2-0. Okay, here we go. We're at the top of the seventh. Lady Whale is leading 2 nothing over the Lady Boxes. Wernshaw is still out there pitching. Strike. Right at the chest level. It was high heat. By Wernshaw. Another droop right there. And New Bedford has a thing about putting that ball just in the gray area between first base and right field. A bloop single for the Lady Whalers. A little bunt gets it down. And foul ball. She almost put it down there. That was number six, Jenna Nogueira. Tried to bunt it down the line. Man on first. Two nothing. Lady Whaler lead. Here in the top of the seventh. Outside for another ball. Lays down the bunt. Gets it over to first. Safe. Took the first baseman off the bag. The throw was a little high. And she couldn't get her foot down before the runner streaked across first base. Nice play by New Bedford's um, batter there. Hustling down the first base line. Two men on. New Bedford threatening with no outs. Pitch, ooh, ropes it out there. Gets by the right fielder. One run has come in. And that's a double. And actually, it's probably a single, but an error on the right fielder. So the runner could get to second base. So we got runners on second and third scoring position with no outs. One run in already here in this inning. Strike one. And 
high pop up to the shortstop. And that'll be one out. And the hot spot for the Lady Whalers today has been right field. They have blooped a number of balls over there to get some runs in, got, uh, get some runners on base. A lot of activity over there for the right fielder in that first and uh, second baseman. Here's a pitch. Oh, nice play out of the dirt. And And they call her out. Nice double play there by the Lady Boxers. And there was a little controversy there, but the New Bedford coach is pleading his case, but to no avail, inning is done. So I believe they got one run out of that inning. Yes, they did. One run. So it's a 3 nothing ball game going into the bottom of the seventh. Boxers really dug themselves in a hole. But they still got a chance to somehow first tie this game up. That's the first order of business for the Lady Boxers here in the bottom of the seventh. So we're back here. Brockton High, and we'll have to make a correction. Actually, the Lady Whalers scored two runs at that inning. A lot of action going on. So the score right now is 4-0 New Bedford over Brock Brockton. I believe is number 44 for the Lady Boxers. Burnham. The pitch. Ball one. Gray coming into this last inning with nine strikeouts, two hits. She's done a great job relieving the starting pitcher. Ooh, high heat. off. Strike two. One and two. Lady Box is trying to cheer their batter on. A lot of chatter coming out of their dugout. Fouled off again. Tell you, if Burnham can get a hit here, that 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 dugout will go nuts. So one ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch, and stung over there for a single. Great effort to get over there and find a second baseman to stop the ball. But Burnham starts this inning with a base hit, man on first. And like I said, Lady Boxers erupted with a lot of cheers over there when they got when she got that hit. So I believe Green is up at the plate. Unless that's a change of bat is number two. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have a pinch runner. Burns. So nice job. Her getting on base with a hit. So we got number two up at the plate. Madison. So that's actually my my apologies. That was the grace with the uh, hit. That was the grace that just came off. So my apologies. 
Now number two, Madison, is up at the plate. She swings at a high fastball. Strike one. So again, the Grace got that single to start this inning. To the outside. Catcher throws it quickly over the, down to first base. Rana wasn't fooled. And Madison, a yeah, little error there. And, oh, nice play by the shortstop. Gets it over there just in time. I thought it was going to be an error. Actually, it was the player Bob of the ball. But they was able to um, overcome that and get the uh, runner out at first. But it gets the other runner for Brockton to second base. So one man on, one man out. Here in the bottom of the seventh. Brockton trying to get something going here. 4 nothing lead. Then there's a foul ball. Lady Whalers, Lady Whalers have a 4 nothing lead. So that's strike one. Strike two. Gray with the pitch. Low. Ball one. Right by her for a strikeout. Her 10th strikeout as a reliever. So we've got two outs. And this is Burnham, number 44. Two outs, boxes with their last out. Hopefully not the last, but we do have two outs, four nothing lead. Pitch, contact made, and nice play by the first baseman to get that ground out to end this ball game. So the New Bedford Whalers, the Lady Whalers, come into Brockton and pull out a four nothing win. It was a tight ball game until the fifth inning when New Bedford scored their first run, then scored another run in the sixth and then kind of sealed the deal with set two runs in the top of the seven to come in here and get a well-earned victory. So there you have it, folks. I'm Miles Jackson. We thank Mike Simmons, the postman, for giving us the great shots from center field. We'll be back with more Lady, lady Boxer bat, uh, baseball, softball, sometime in the very near future, folks. So everyone have a nice day and signing off.